Hello trendsetters, well, this is my latest dashboard creation. I thought I'd take you through the workings of it from kind of start to finish from an output perspective. Now this is our outputs page. This is the dashboard that describes some of the metrics. I've got a lot of the financial metrics up towards the top. We've got some human resources metrics and we've got some engagement and social media metrics down below. Now, how does it work? Now we've got a slicer over here, which when we go through each of the elements, you can see we're looking at Africa, we're looking at Americas, and like literally hundreds of things change as I press each of these buttons, as I choose Europe, literally hundreds of calculations are happening behind the scenes. Now I can take this dashboard forwards or backwards in time, depending on the movement of this combo box. If we want to go back to April, you'll see things start to disappear from the dashboard. So you can go back, have a look how the organization is traveling a few months back. And you can do that for all the metrics over here. Now, some of these KHR metrics, we've got four down here. So labor effectiveness, overtime hours. At the moment, we're looking at overtime hours, and that's what this circle's for. If we look at uh, labor effectiveness, now this data displays labor effectiveness. We can take it forward so we have a full chart of data. And then I'll have a look at staff trained. And I've lined the colors up with the button that you're pressing here, just to give you an idea of what's actually happening between um, each of the given metrics in that particular chart. So there's a whole range of things going on in this dashboard. Literally hundreds of calcs, as I said, in the background and the model set up consistently. So we've got our inputs through these blue sheets, our calculations through the green sheets, and our, our primary output page is this one here, which is displaying all of the metrics that you see before you in a single page. So you get a high level view. Look, these things aren't supposed to answer all the corporate questions. They're supposed to give you an idea of what's actually happening in comparison to a timeline, a previous period at another point in time, usually a, a comparable point, so your last year or within a given period or a plan or budget or whatever you want to measure it against. But it just gives you a high level indication of what's happening at a point in time. It tells a story on a single page and we as finance people or whatever business or industry you are in are about telling a story. Hope that helps. Hope you enjoy the presentation. Have a great day.